Do you know how to use forecast function in Excel? Let me show you how we can use that. So you can see I have month and sales data here and I just want to find out the future value of the sales in Jan, Feb and March month. So simply we can use forecast function. Forecast we can type open bracket and we have this function. We have first syntax is this X. So in X we can simply select this Jan and then you can press comma in non YS. So this is is uh, the sales value you have to select so this is the sales value that i've selected then comma and in non xs is this month you have to select so just to give the past trends we can find out the future trend also now we cannot drag this down simply because we have to freeze first so what we have to freeze for this non ys we have to freeze the c3 cell because i have to start this range from c3 by pressing f4 we can freeze that and also we need to freeze the c column for the second part we can simply use here dollar sign again for second range we have to freeze this b3 by pressing f4 and for b column also we have to freeze that by dollar sign we can press enter and now we can drag this down and we are getting the future value of the sales. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stop using Excel the old way. If you are still using Microsoft Excel without using AI tools like ChatGPT and Copilot, you are already falling behind. Data entry, pivot table, they are just basic part of Excel. Nowadays, companies expect more from you like dashboard creation, power query, VB automation, AI generated reports and much more. If you want to learn from basic to advanced level, you can join my 30 days Excel crash course where I will teach you everything from formulas to automation by using AI tools like ChatGPT and Copilot. If you want to enroll right now, you can text me on WhatsApp on this number. I will just book your seat. I have limited seats, so you can just text me on WhatsApp right now. Let's turn Excel into your superpower.